Hi guys, Mike here again. Uh, today uh, I'm going to be doing another unboxing. Um, this time it's going to be Man of Steel, the movie set uh, from Superman. Here's the actually uh, the countertop display set that they use to attract retailers. Put this on top of a counter and just open up this little fold right here. Pop in these little wings and then you can drop down these figures. And people can buy them. I think with this set, they started selling these things at least in in uh, big box retailers like Target for three dollars and fifty cents. Previously, they were three dollars. Uh, most hobby stores or comic book stores that sell these um, don't charge three fifty. They'll either charge the old two ninety nine price, or they'll even give you a discount on top of that. At my store in Las Vegas, uh, Maximum Comics, uh, they do 20% off all their gaming merchandise. And then if you pre-order uh, any of their gaming merchandise uh, and pick it up the day of release, they give you 25% discount, which is pretty good. I apologize for the... Uh, the quality of this camera, it doesn't really do up close very well. So just bear with me. Um, I think this is a 10 figure set. So ideally I should get two full 10 figure sets and then four extra figures. And there's 24 units in the countertop display. We'll see how that pans out. All right, first up, we have a generic soldier. Those guys are really good. <clears throat> Hopefully, out of the the triplet figures or the four extras, I get at least one more of that guy. Uh, next, we have the man himself, Superman. Stack these in front so we can keep tabs on what's what. We got another soup. odd that they would be back to back like that but I guess since it is a Man of Steel set there's probably going to be at least three of those in there. And chances are if you're buying any of this stuff you probably want a Superman. <laughs> uh, General Zod. Take a bunch of these out now. Save some time. I've already got a couple of these things. Um, I went to Target because they had some exclusive <clears throat> Target figures. It was uh, General Zod. Um, Towards the end of the movie, where he's all supermaned out. Uh, Feora, um, Jor El, and Helix, his robot. Lois Lane. Uh, 
Yeah, so these figures, I mean, they look really good. Those kids have been stepping up their game. Alright, we got another soldier. Here's hoping I got at least another one in here somewhere. That would be awesome. Those guys are worth every penny. We have Clark Kent. Um, Jax Ur. Namek. I'm guessing he's supposed to like represent uh, non. Let me scoot this back. Well, we have another generic Kryptonian rebel. Another Namek. He's the big brute. Uh, we have Jor El. Lois Lane number two. Uh, Kryptonian Warrior. Clark Kent number two Kryptonian scientist Dorel, number two. Kryptonian scientist, number two. Kryptonian warrior, number two. Jax Ur number two. Uh, Superman's mom.
another Superman's mom. Kryptonian Rebel. And I'm guessing this last guy is General Zod. Indeed it is. So uh, I was misinformed. It's not a 10 figure set, it's a 12 figure set. And you get two of each figure. Two Lois Lanes, two Clark Kents, two Jax Ur, two Soldiers, two Supermen, two General Zods, two Namex, uh, two Kryptonian Rebels, two Superman's Moms, two Superman's Dads, a Crypt two Kryptonian Warriors, and two Kryptonian Scientists. So, if their intended distribution, uh, was two full sets and a countertop display. Well done. <clears throat> Next, continuing along, we have uh, the Man of Steel starter set. You know what, I honestly don't know what these retail for. Somewhere between $25 and $30, I want to say. And this set uh, contains figures that use the same sculpts that were in this set, uh, just with different dials. Now it looks like Feora was a Target exclusive, um, but she came in the starter set but it's a different dial. Um, these are probably more appropriate for people that have never played Hero Clicks before uh, because it does give you everything. You get enough figures to build a force. Um, you get a map. You get a power and ability card that explains the different team abilities and what the powers do and this is actually the 2013 one so it's the most up to date and it includes um, changes that include the addition of pink abilities um, which are fun a lot of HeroQuiz players haven't had a whole lot of experience with yet and I know uh, personally I'm looking forward to them and some of the other people I talk to are as well Especially since there hasn't been an, ad an addition of a new color since white abilities, if you can call that a new color, were introduced. And that was like five years ago. Prior to that, nothing. Here's kind of an example of the, the crappy dice that WizKids includes. We get Superman. Zod. Superman's dead. Namek. A warrior. Feora. Nothing too terribly exciting, but what is exciting is this big old honking packet that they give you. And that is a handy dandy powers and ability card. These things used to be printed on, on paper. It was of a higher quality. It was like a laminated paper. And now it feels like it's this, I don't know. It almost feels like this crappy card stock that was left out in the rain and then dried. <laughs> I can't, I mean, that's really the best description I can give for it. But, it's, um, it's a powers and ability card, and they rarely print these things, so it's just good to have an updated one, regardless of its quality. 
then they throw in another code for hero clicks online I don't think these figures are active yet but when they are I'll be able to redeem this for these figures power are the uh, character cards which seem like they're matte instead of glossy so they kind of feel kind of feel weird I feel like they should probably uniformly do those things just you know pick a Chinese factory stick with it go glossy or matte and stick with it and be done with it they really really need to uh, bring their consistency together and, and rein in some of those those production um, inequalities we did a core rule book this thing is kind of necess uh, necessary for people that um, have never played the game or need to reference it uh, another two-sided map I'm a map poor, so that's awesome. Picking up three new maps today. And then a full set of uh, debris tokens and objects. So we got debris tokens, and on the other side, barrier, smoke, and special. They give you two pages of those, so three sets of four. And then a page of heavy and light objects. And that is Superman, Man of Steel.